everybody how are you all doing my name is glory olamide i am a life coach from glorious glow empowerment if you haven't um, heard about me before or come to my channel you are welcome thanks for coming and thanks for watching today if you haven't subscribed do consider subscribing and joining this family and also click on the notification bell so you'd always hear when i come on live you'd always um, get notified rather when i come on live thanks for coming thanks for watching i appreciate you all um today i will be talking to us about um calling out your inner critic so i have a facebook page on my other social media i released a post this week i think that was two days ago where i said it talked about the importance of calling out your inner critic what do i mean by that the inner voice you know sometimes you want to get things done and you have this voice warning you you know saying don't do it you get that right that's common we all have that voice sometimes you want to achieve something you want to achieve a goal and that voice says no do you have to don't do it or is that what your mates are then you that voice that compares want to compare with other people or that voice that wants to keep you small or keep you scared keep you afraid of achieving of getting things done like this morning i woke up i had already set my plans for today you know the previous night but when i woke up this morning <laughs> i didn't want to get anything done i'm like oh do I have to? You know, that voice, that voice kept coming back and saying, do you really have to? Just lie in bed. You're not rushing anywhere. After all, you know, you're not going to work today. Schools, I'm a secondary school teacher. And I'm like, schools are not in session and all of that. You know, just relax. And I lay there thinking, you know, almost listening to this voice. I'm like, and that's true, you know. Where am I rushing off to? Blah, blah, blah. Normally, 5 a.m., I'm out of bed, even in the lockdown. I get things done, you know, do my morning routine and all of that, you know. But today was, I had this battle going on in me. I'm like, oh, do I really have to? Not again and all of that, you know. And immediately, what I shared on my social media this week came to my mind. Were you not the one who sent, who released a post about calling out your inner critic? <laughs> I'm like, oh, so, so what? And then on, on Saturday, I had a conference. At the conference, I shared with the women about 95% of who we are is our psychology, the state of our mind. And I shared with them about how to change that state, you know, how to change it, you know, and become and achieve what you really want to achieve and then my message on saturday and my post i shared two days ago came at me today i'm like saying you are the one preaching practice what you preach <laughs> it was so funny so immediately i said okay i'm going to get up because what i shared with the women is that when you have that mental state that you know mind come at you and you know, to say to stay small add movement get up you know from where you are, from that state of being down, being depressed, being sad, when you add movement, you get up and, you know, move, do something else. It reduces, you know, the tendency for you to feel small, for you to feel that way, and for you to feel down. Immediately, your mood changes. Go for a walk, exercise, or whatever. So immediately, I got up from <laughs> where I was. I got up. As soon as I got ready, God had my bath, got ready, got dressed. I said, I'm not going anywhere, but I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to get ready. Put myself in the state of mind to walk. You know, so I did that. Immediately, my mood changed. My emotions changed. My body and emotions came into alignment. You see? So, and my next post was on calling out your inner critic. You know, that inner critic, give it a name. Is it fear? Give it a name. Also, identify the type of energy coming at you. Is it, is it feminine energy? Give it a female name. 
Is it masculine energy? Give it a male name. So how you are feeling, assess your feelings, okay? Become self-aware of that feeling. How are you feeling? What's it making you, you know, what are you feeling? What, you know, how, what are the emotions rushing at you? Once you identify it and give it a name, call it out and say, nope, I'm not listening to you today. I'm getting up from here and I'm going to achieve all my goals. Immediately you do that, you will see that that emotion starts to reduce. It starts to draw back. It goes back to where it came from. Immediately you recognize it. Okay, you identify it and say, no, you are an, you are an emotion. You will not keep me small. You have power. You have power over your emotions. Okay, your emotions do not have power over you. So we shouldn't allow our emotions control us. We have power, whatever it is, irrespective of the emotion we are feeling, we have the ability to change the state of our minds immediately. Get up from that position, switch, move around. Before you know it, our mood changes. Let me read something, okay, that talks about... Um, the changes your body, you know, experience, you, the changes you experience when you do this, when you add movement, okay? It says here, tetos, testosterone, I'm sorry about this, it increases by 20%. Your stress and cortisol, okay? The stress hormone and cortisol levels reduce by 25%. Your risk tolerance, increases by 33%, you see? Why? Because you have decided to change your, your, your position. You moved, you added movement to that feeling. Instead of remaining down, have you not noticed that when you lie down and have a pity party, you feel sorry for yourself and all of that, that state of depression increases? So I'm giving you a trick now, okay? <laughs> to immediately change, okay? Your state of mind to align with your emotions, with your, 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 your body by getting up. Immediately get up and say, no, Mabel, whatever name you want to call that emotion, whatever name you want to give to fear, or whatever it is that, yeah, that is coming up against you, sadness, Say, no, I'm not having it. Immediately, if you want to call a friend, you can call a friend and just have a chat. That increases the way you feel. It increases your mood, okay? Walk, take a walk, exercise, you know? Go to the seaside if it's near you. Or just go for a walk, go into the woods and all of that. Just breathe in fresh air. That will change your psychology immediately, okay? So I'm going to read what I wrote. My post this I shared two days ago says, you can't escape the inner voice that is your own worst critic. We are our own worst critic, aren't we? Okay, we are. So this inner voice urges us to be cautious, self-preservation, isn't it? Every step of the way, it says, do you, want, do you really want to do that? Are you sure you want to do this? You know, you ask yourself questions and all of that, all right? Most times we tolerate this and we let it win, but we have control. We are winners. So I've come to share today, okay? So when the voice of fear in your head or in the pit of your stomach is at its loudest, it's because it's feeling the most threatened okay when you are hearing it that voice is loud so loud it's feeling the most threatened so you have to tell it put it in its place by giving it a name and calling it out i recognize you fear i recognize your sadness you are not going to control me today no enough is enough so i said in my post giving your fear a name helps you to take your power back and giving your fear a name also helps you to put things in perspective. It helps you to say, oh, it's just this. It's nothing. 
it helps you to put things in perspective and you see things for what they truly are. It's an emotion. It's not real. You know, sometimes we perceive things, you know, as real when they are not. They are imagined, all right? When we have other people's perceptions and things and all of that, it may not be real, but when you now identify it, you're like, oh, so this is what you are. You put things in perspective and you begin to take control. So I thought to come and share this with you today, my YouTube family, because as you already know, um, I am an empowerment coach. You know, I work as a life coach, Glorious Glow Empowerment, all right? And what I do, I help women specifically. My message, everyone can listen to it and benefit from it, but when I do my work, the inner work I do is specific, specifically with women, Okay, I help you reignite your dreams. I help you rediscover your purpose. What's your purpose? What are you here for? Are you here just to, you know, go every day in and out and do as whatever life throws at you? You know, the wind comes, tosses you to the left, you go. It comes again, moves you to the right, you go, and no direction. Or are you here for a purpose? Okay. I help you turn your passions, your dreams into reality. And if you want your passion to become a business for you, where you begin to um, make a living, you earn from your passion. I help you to make it possible. Okay? I help you. In, in, as you do that, you begin to fulfill your destiny. Is that something you would like to do? Is that something you would like to ensure that you achieve on earth? Remember, we are only here for a specific time. Nobody knows tomorrow. So what are you waiting for? There's no time like now to achieve your dreams. What's keeping you small? Is it that fear? It's time to identify that fear. Is, is it people's opinion? It's time to identify them for what they are and get up, achieve your dreams, okay? My name is Gloria Lamy Day from Glorious Glow Empowerment. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. If you would like to get more messages like this from me, I'd like to hear from you in the comment section. Let me know what you think about my messages. I would really love that. Thanks for watching. Do press the notification bell, like I said earlier, and you will always get notified when I post new videos. I appreciate you all. Thank you, everyone. Whatever you do, take care and God bless you. Bye. Hello. Listen to this guided meditation that will allow you to take power back from your inner critic. Find a comfortable position. You can sit or lie down. The choice is yours. Close your eyes, take deep breaths in, breathe out as your body eases into a more comfortable position. Take four fast breaths in. Hold as you count to seven. Breathe out as you count down to eight. Take deep breaths in again. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out as your body eases even more into a comfortable position. Breathe in and out. Breathe out any stressful situations. Breathe in as you relax further. Now, 
imagine yourself walking along the beach. The sun is out. Feel the gentle breeze on your cheeks as you walk along the seaside. Standing in front of you is your inner critic. Acknowledge them. Don't be judgmental. Say hello and call them by their name. Give your inner critic a name and call them by that name you have chosen. Now, invite your inner critic to sit on the sandy beach for a conversation. Say the following. You have followed me for a very long time. Say the name of your inner critic. Then ask them, why? Why have you followed me for so long? Wait for an answer at this moment. Wait to see what comes back to you. What do you receive at this time? Acknowledge the answer. And then ask the following questions. Have I been mean to you? Have I ignored you? Are you unfulfilled? Do you want me to excel in life? At the end of it, each question you asked, ensure to receive an answer back. Wait for what comes back to you. With, with each answer, acknowledge it. Acknowledge the answer. Now, apologize if required, depending on the answer you get back. Then say, I know you are there and you can choose to come out anytime you want, especially when I am weak or I least expect it. But I want you say the name of your inner critic. I want you to understand that I have a mission in life to fulfill. We may not always agree, but it doesn't mean that you are being ignored. Call the name of your inner critic and say with a firm voice, from now on, I choose to fulfill my purpose without further interruptions. I choose to be who God has called me to be. I choose to fulfill my destiny. I choose to be who I have been created to be even before I was in my mother's womb. Ask your inner critic this question. Call them by name and say, is that understood? Wait for an answer. Then say, do we have an agreement? 
wait for an answer. Then imagine that you have had a handshake in agreement and say, good, I'm happy we can agree on this. Now visualize yourself getting up from the sandy beach. Call your critic by name and say, I will be on my way now. You continue to enjoy the sea view. Visualize yourself waving goodbye as you begin to come back. Walk away from your inner critic and don't look back. Keep walking. Keep walking and don't look back. Feel the breeze on your cheeks and feel the wind blowing your hair as you walk into your new found freedom. Smile. As we come to the end of this meditation, take a few deep breaths in and out. A few more deep breaths in and out. Enjoy your new freedom. Remember, you can choose to have this conversation anytime you want. But remember that you are always in control. You can remain lying down with your eyes closed or sitting down as you have chosen to be and carry on to enjoy the music or you can come out at this point. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.